right YouTube it's a uh, wow sly as you can see the uh, panel let me just check no lights not on oh well um, yeah just showed you the panel at the front of the house uh, yes it should be on sort of like a 30 degree angle angle uh, and not on a 90 degree angle but uh, I've got it positioned there because uh, the panels on sliders so easy access of removing the panel I can just slide it off the wall if it was on the roof uh, it'd be more difficult to just uh, slide it off and take it away and if it was on a 30 degree angle on the roof I'd end up walk on the wall I'd end up walking into it so let me just pause this here and put the light on so we can see right uh, turns out the light was on my phone it's just very dark in here um, right most of you have probably seen this video of well videos about this um, I was going to do a final video when I've got all the lights in place but uh, I'm still waiting for the postman to deliver some lights uh, that black box came today and um, yeah I'm impatient so you know, I'll probably do an update on the lights separately uh, this is the charge solar panel control panel solar yeah this is the control panel so I'm a million miles away at the moment um, at the moment the only lights I've got plugged in is this LED one here and that LED one up there which is super bright I did have some up here I've got another one of these um, but I've just not got them plugged in don't need them I've got sufficient light uh, the other light I've ordered is like a cluster of LEDs like a spotlight um, so I've got this one to illuminate the desk um, which is full of junk and the other one when it turns up it's going in there and uh, it'll illuminate the radios and the logbook and so on um, so this is a full rundown we'll start from uh, top left to bottom right these are household 240 mains switches they're only rated about six or seven amps um, so I downgraded the battery from 14 amps to just seven amps um, in fear of these sort of uh, shorting out I've got one switch which turns off um, the panel this black box here there's three sockets for solar panels coming in I've got one of the two panels plugged in at the moment you can see I've got a, a charge so if I turn that off you see the little green light go off and back on so that controls power coming in um, don't really need it I could just unplug it but it says wear and tear I can isolate the switch for maintenance then I've got the most important one system I've labeled them all um, system shuts down the entire system okay start the system up turn the panel on third one is my outlet uh, this is wired up to uh, a double 12 volt um, socket with two USB ports on it and obviously that turns off the outlet and we'll demonstrate by turning a radio on Let's turn that on first, get some power to the radio. There we go. And now we'll turn outlet off. There we go. Hopefully you picked up some audio. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Then I've got a four way uh, USB socket up here to run all the lights of them when I get all the lights. Um, that's velcroed on, the only thing that's not screwed in, everything else is screwed in permanently. Um, because this is uh, on sliders, I can remove the contro uh, control panel. Uh, I thought, you know, that would be cool to have separately, if camping, um, you know, I could have the uh, socket further away if need be. Again, I've just got um, that light in there at the moment, and that one, which is sufficient, really, that's all we need. And on the left, I've got the... Uh, three-way cigarette lighter adapter um, it did have a USB socket on it but I removed that I'm going to try and add the USB socket up here later today 
but I want to make some housing for it first, a little plastic box. And that will run straight from 12 volts down to uh, 5 volts, 500 milliamps. Alright, next, we've got a blue neon LED voltmeter. Uh, this is, goes up to, I think, 38 volts, so I've got no chance of blowing that, even if I get the full 20 something volts coming from the panel. Then I've got my charge control unit, uh, which regulates all sort of the power coming in out and so on. Uh, this stops the battery from being discharged too much or overcharged. Uh, it cuts the battery out when the battery gets to about 10.5 volts, I can't remember. Um, and then uh, obviously stops the power going into the battery from the panel once the battery gets to 14.5 or 14.8 volts. Can't remember, don't quote me. And then obviously if you haven't got enough power in the battery, the load uh, will shut off so you don't drain the battery. It's only a cheapie, but it does a job. Uh, then in this metal box um, was a control panel for something else. Um, houses my 7 amp power 12 volt battery. And then finally, uh, the double 12 volt socket with two USB sockets for power out, which is obviously wired to uh, the outlet switch, and the battery bank is wired to the uh, system switch, and then goes into the control panel. So uh, by shutting this down, it stops power going into here. The power goes up this blue cable from the battery, and then back out live in this red one. So by isolating that switch, there's no live feed to the panel, just negative. Uh, so it's safe to uh, do any maintenance to. All the switches are done like that. The uh, outlet, 12 volt outlet, the uh, live feeder for that, is fed through there first, um, and the same with the control panel, uh, panel, uh, solar panel. Sorry, uh, the live feeder from that goes into there and then into the control panel. Um, that's all there is really to say. It's very simple. It's not the best. It's not high powered, but it's only to power um, small amount of lights in the garage and a couple of radios of course I'm never going to use two or three radios at once um, but this will do I can charge my phone out here tablet run a few lights anything really powered by USB and of course a 12 volt socket um, because the battery is only 7 amp I can plug unfused that is fused but I can plug unfused radios into there um, most radios have got a 10 amp fuse in them, it's only 7 amp system so it's not going to blow any radios unlike the 14 amp system I had before everything would have had to be fused everything should be fused anyway, everything is fused but you know um, 7 amps is fine, uh, I'm not one to sit in the shack for, for like days on end, I only get an hour or two now and then to come out um, so that's more than enough power to run the lights um, I'll probably get a good few hours out of just the radio, but probably probably about four to six hours I reckon with the lights and the radio, um, which is more than enough for me for an hour or two, sort of uh, two or three times a week. Most of my radio work's done well, spread between portable, static mobile, and the shack. But I quite happily spend all day on a hill, um, but I don't think I could spend all day in the garage. So that's it really. Um, all this stuff you can buy, high street, internet, anywhere, most of it was laying around. Um, and again, it's quite simple, I just unplug everything, unplug the panel, and unplug anything that may be plugged into it, leading somewhere else. Unplug the light, and then I can just literally slide the whole panel off these aluminium sliders, and the viewers in America, uh, aluminium sliders, just slide the whole thing off. And take it away just like the solar panel. Um, I've just been uh, adding to it bit by bit, and I'm probably going to keep adding to it. I do want to get an analog amp meter for it, I think, which is just for the sake of it. I should really get an analog voltmeter because these things chew up the battery power. Um, 
Well, that's all there is to say, really. Uh, that's how I power the lights and radio to my shack. Uh, thanks for watching YouTube. Any questions, um, please feel free to uh, leave a message in the comment box below. Also, before I forget, uh, above the system I've got a uh, emergency bulkhead light. It's a portable one with a torch and two bulbs and that's plugged into the mains. So if we ever do have a power cut, I'll turn the main socket off. Watch the green light. And there we go. That light comes on automatically when the mains goes off. That's on low, high, and there's a the torch facility. So yeah, that comes on low. You can see, can't really block it that well. That comes on automatically if there's a power cut, so I can still come out and find my way to the radios.